This truck arm in front of us became loose, causing the bottom to rub against the ground repeatedly and sustain damage. However, in Pakistan, replacing it with a new one would cost about 10.000 rupees. So, they used a section of steel pipe to cut and repair it. After a simple patch job by the craftsman, this discarded support arm can actually be restored and put back into use. Today, let's see how they managed to save costs. The truck driver, eager to get his cargo to its destination, drove his semi-truck straight to the repair shop in Peshawar, hoping the craftsman could fix his truck arm. The long-term friction with the ground not only wore down the outer surface, but the inner bushing was also completely worn out. But for an experienced craftsman with advanced skills, this wasn't a problem. He planned to use a piece of steel pipe of the same material for patching, which would restore the worn outer section without significantly reducing the overall strength. Since the joint surface would need to be ground down later, he first used a hydraulic press to remove the bushing, allowing for a better view of the worn area. Due to deformation from friction, the inner diameter had increased, so he used downward pressure to correct the arm, ensuring a snug fit with the outer diameter of the bushing. After repeatedly checking with the bushing, he used a saw blade to cut the angled surface caused by friction into a flat plane, preventing any alignment issues during the patching process. Given the limitations of the saw blade, he further smoothed any leftover edges with an angled grinder to make the cut surface flat and even. He also ground a bevel on the outside to strengthen the weld between the arm and the steel pipe. Once the arm was ground to meet the patching requirements, he used the bushing as a guide to cut a piece of steel pipe to the same width. Since the pipe's inner diameter didn't match perfectly, he measured it with calipers to assess how much material needed to be removed on the lathe. Using a boring tool, he machined the inner groove of the steel pipe to match the measured inner diameter, ensuring the pipe's inner wall could hold the bushing securely without any looseness. After finishing the inner wall, he cut the steel pipe to size using acetylene, following his markings carefully. Despite lacking a high-end cutting tool, his steady hands quickly produced a precise patch piece. To align the patch piece correctly, he installed the bushing back into position as a reference. Once confirmed, he tack welded the patch temporarily in place. Then, using a welder, he continued to apply large weld beads for added strength, as a larger welded area would prevent future breakage. For added stability, he separated the bushing once again to observe the inside welds. Internal and external welding helped the two pieces merge into a solid unit. He then used an angle grinder to smooth the outer welds, restoring the arm's original appearance as closely as possible, since the inner welds needed to maintain their curve. He used a rotary grinder to ensure a consistent inner diameter. Once the inner welds were invisible, he installed a used bushing to check the inner diameter of the patched arm. Using the hydraulic press, he confirmed that the bushing fit without any gaps. And with that, the worn-out truck arm was repaired using a simple steel pipe weld. What do you think of this kind of craftsmanship?